1964, the world's first high-speed rail system, the Tokaido Shinkansen, began operations in Honshu, Japan. Because of the streamlined, spitzer-shaped nose cone of the locomotive, the train became known as the bullet train. Since the first bullet train, things like the internet have made the world a whole lot faster, and people now desire quicker means of transport as they seek to get to their destinations in record time. With the demand for timely and efficient transportation growing, the world's top railway experts have been hard at work building lighting quick high-speed trains. Today, we take the time to appreciate the efforts of these men by taking a look at the top 10 fastest high-speed trains in the world. At number 10, the Harriman High-Speed Railway, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a desert country, and the country's Harriman high-speed trains are specially modified to cope with the desert heat. The country's terrain can be challenging, even for sophisticated high-speed electric trains. But still, these modified trains link the holy cities of Mecca and Medina, running at speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour. These Spanish-built Talgo trains, specially modified for desert operation at temperatures of up to 50 Celsius, cover the 450-kilometer journey from Mecca to Medina in just two hours, a massive reduction from the 10 hours it would take to travel by road. Each train has 13 cars with a seating capacity of 417 passengers in economy or business class. Actually, the Haramain High-Speed Railway has a capacity of 60 million passengers a year. During the annual pilgrimage, when more than 2 million Muslims visit the city's holy sites, the rail line is put to the test, and as expected, it rises to the occasion. Since its opening in 2018, the HHR has become a popular way to travel between Medina and Mecca. Number 9. Trenitalia ETR 1000 Also known as the Red Arrow, Italian State Railway's Freccia Rossa high-speed trains were introduced in 2017 as the state's response to a new privately owned rival. The Red Arrows are designed for a maximum speed of 400 km per hour, and with their arrow-like streamlined design, they boast up to an incredible 10,000 horsepower output with electrifying performance. Although the Red Arrows are authorized for a maximum speed of 360 km per hour in passenger service, during testing in 2016, one train attained 394 km per hour. The trains, which are 200 meters long, have 457 seats in four classes that range from comfortable standard to business, premium, and executive. Freccia Rossa trains operate across Italy's T-shaped high-speed network, linking places like Turin, Milan, and Venice in the north with Bologna, Florence, Rome, and Naples. For normal commercial schedules, these trains operate at a maximum speed of 300 km per hour. But even at this speed, they have revolutionized intercity travel in Italy and increased the rail's market share of key routes such as Milan-Rome. It's also worth noting that since 2022, the Red Arrow has gone head-to-head -head with the French TGV on the Milan-Paris route, providing passengers with more choice and more trains. Due to the competition, ticket prices have fallen and passenger numbers have shot up by more than 50%. Number 8. The KTX, South Korea Since 2004, South Korea has rapidly expanded its network of high-speed railways, bypassing classic lines with difficult terrain that made journey times slow and uncompetitive. Beginning with the Seoul-Busan route in 2004, KTX trains can operate at up to 330 km per hour, although the authorized limit is 305 km per hour. First-generation KTX I trains, which are based on French TGV technology, have cut down the Seoul-Busan journey time from over 4 hours to only 2 hours and 15 minutes. The country is currently one of only four countries in the world to develop a train with the capacity to run at over 420 km per hour. The others are France, Japan, and China. In 2013, a new generation Hemu 430X prototype reached 421.4 km per hour, 
beating the previous Korean rail speed record of 352.4 km per hour that was set by a second-generation KTX HSR 350X train. South Korea's latest trains use homegrown technology and feature pressure-sealed cabins and triple glazing that reduce noise and eliminate any form of discomfort in the many tunnels they have to run through. KTX trains link Seoul with Gwangju, Mokpo, and Yeosu in the south of the country and Gangneung in the northeast. Interestingly, the Gangneung line was built to serve the Olympic Winter Games host city of Pyeongchang in 2018. Number 7. The AVE S103, Spain. For the past 30 years, Spain has invested heavily in high-speed rail. In 1992, the country joined the high-speed club using TGV technology imported from France, but since then, it has gone on to develop its own super-fast trains and has also succeeded in building Europe's longest network of dedicated long-distance lines, running from Madrid to Seville, Malaga, Valencia, Galicia, and Barcelona. AVE which stands for Alta Velocidad Hispana, and can also be translated to the Spanish word for bird, operates at a commercial maximum speed of 310 km per hour. The fastest among the fleet are the S102 Talgo and S103 Velaro trains. The Velaro is, however, a more powerful version of Germany's ICE-3. The S103 trains are certified to operate at a maximum speed of 350 km per hour, have a capacity of 404 passengers and connect Spain's two biggest cities. An S103 in July 2006 set the Spanish rail speed record of 404 km per hour, which at the time was a world record for an unmodified commercial passenger train. Number 6. Al Barak in Morocco. Al Barak is Africa's first and, at the moment, only dedicated high speed railway. Opened in November 2018, the line links the port city of Tangier with Casablanca in Morocco. Named Al Borak after a mythical creature that carried the Islamic prophets, it is only the first phase of the country's planned 1,500-kilometer high-speed network. These powerful double-deck electric trains operate at speeds of up to 320 kilometers per hour on a dedicated 186-kilometer new line that runs between Tangier and Kenitra. The project, which cost an estimated $2 billion, also included an upgrade of the existing 137-kilometer line between Rabat and Casablanca, reducing the journey time from 4 hours 45 minutes to just about 2 hours 10 minutes. However, once the proposed new line to Casablanca is completed, travel time will be reduced to only 90 minutes. Number 5. JR East E5, Japan Since Japan introduced the world to the concept of new high-speed railways in 1964, it has continued to push the boundaries of speed, capacity, and safety with its Shinkansen lines. While most Shinkansen currently operate at a maximum speed of 300 km per hour, the E5 bullet trains of Japan, Railways East, travel at up to 320 km per hour on the Tohoku Shinkansen, which runs north from Tokyo to Shin Aomori. Each of these trains has 731 seats and 32 electric induction motors capable of delivering up to 12,900 horsepower. Made from lightweight aluminum alloy, the E5s have active suspension, which allows them to negotiate curves at higher speeds. The notably long noses of the driving cars were designed to reduce sonic booms that occur when trains enter tunnels at high speed. In 2011, 59 trains were built, and since 2016, they have been used north of Aomori on the Hokkaido Shinkansen, which connects to Japan's main island of Honshu by the 54-kilometer undersea Sikan Tunnel below the Sugaru Strait. Number 4. TGV France France's TGV trains were Europe's first high-speed service. With a speed of 574.8 km per hour set on April 3, 2007, the country is still the longtime holder of the world speed record for conventional trains. But the train doesn't normally operate at such a speed. TGV, which stands for Train à Grande Vitesse, 
is Europe's first dedicated high-speed network and is recognized across the globe as a pioneer of high-speed rail technology. Since World War II, the French have pushed the boundaries of what is possible with conventional trains. In 1955, they hit 331 kilometers per hour, 380 in 1981, and 515.3 kilometers per hour in 1990. Today, traveling at 320 kilometers per hour, high-speed lines run from Paris to Lyon, Marseille, Bordeaux, Nantes, Strasbourg, Lille, Brussels, and London, with trains running at up to 320 kilometers per hour on some routes. Meanwhile, the iconic orange TGVs of the 1980s have been replaced with more advanced high-capacity duplex trains, which now travel into neighboring countries including Germany, Switzerland, and Spain. High-speed rail is also a major export for the country, as over the last 30 years, TGV technology has been sold to Spain, South Korea, Taiwan, Morocco, Italy, and the United States. At number three, we have the ICE-3, Germany. Locally known as White Worms, Germany's intercity express trains are some of the fastest in the world. The ICE-3s are a large family of fast trains that ply a variety of routes across the country and include trains for international routes, connecting major German cities with Paris, Amsterdam, and Brussels. The fastest member of the ICE-3 is the 330 km per hour train, which has been in operation since 1999. These lightning-fast trains were built for the 180 km Cologne-Frankfurt line, and since 2002, it has reduced the distance between the two cities to 62 minutes from 2 hours and 30 minutes. The normal operating speed is 300 km per hour, but these trains are authorized to travel at speeds of up to 330 km per hour. During test runs, they even reached a maximum of 368 km per hour. Key to their performance are the 16 motors distributed throughout the 8-car train, which combine to deliver an impressive 11,000 horsepower. The design of the ICE-3 has also formed the basis of some of the fastest trains in the world, especially the Siemens Velaro family of high-speed trains, which has been sold to Spain, Russia, Turkey, and China. Number 2. CR400 Fuxing China appears to be at the forefront of modern rail infrastructure, as the country at present has the longest network of high-speed lines in the world. Its Fuxing trains can carry up to 1,200 passengers at speeds of about 350 km per hour. Interestingly, during testing, the CR400 Fuxing train successfully reached 420 km per hour. These sets of trains, which are based on imported technology from Europe and Japan, were developed from previous generations of high-speed trains. Each train contains up to 16 cars and is packed with novel features, including smart cabins, at-seat entertainment, smart glass displays, and wireless device charging. They even have variants designed for extreme weather conditions and autonomous operation, which also happen to be the world's only automatic high-speed trains. The fastest CR400 currently travels the prime Beijing, Shanghai, Hong Kong, and Beijing Harbin routes. And at number one, the Shanghai Maglev. The Shanghai Maglev in China holds the crown for being the world's fastest public train. This train is also quite unique as it is the only link in the world currently using magnetic levitation, or maglev, where it gets its name from, rather than the conventional steel wheels on steel rails. The train, which has a maximum commercial speed of 460 km per hour, connects Shanghai's Pudong Airport with Longyang Road Station in the city center. It also completes the 30-kilometer journey in just seven and a half minutes, the maglev trains, which are based on German technology, fly along an elevated track, with powerful magnets providing a super smooth, friction-free ride. Meanwhile, China has ambitious plans to develop a network of maglevs, including between Hangzhou and Shanghai. And that's all for today's episode. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.